What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to create your own backup and restore recovery partition using Clonezilla. It's a free so open source bit of software you can use and I'm going to be showing you how to do it in this video. We've got Windows 7 here, 32 bit and uh, let's get started. So first off let's have a look at the software we're going to be using. Clonezilla as I said we're going to need and uh, we're going to go to the stable versions here. You need to go download, stable versions and download the ISO file and you can download the latest version okay it's 134 megabytes in size so download that once you've downloaded that you're going to need another tool called 7-zip and this is another free tool which we can use for unzipping files and uh, compressing files but we're going to use it to unzip files and pull out files that we need okay now you need either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version it's a free download uh, just download the version uh, to suit your operating system okay now once we've done that we're going to need Clonezilla Backup and this has been created by RM Prep USB okay so a guy called Steve there I think he's created it and a guy called Endog37 who's uh, written some of the coding on the script I think that does it as well okay and I will put all these links and information in the description of this video so let's get started so I'm going to close this off okay so the first thing we need to do is create a partition because I haven't got one I've only got a C drive and I'm using a virtual box here so don't worry about that yours is going to be different to mine but it will be the same process okay but on a larger scale so let's get started anyway I'm going to open up control panel and go to administrative tools and then I'm going to go to computer management once I've got computer management up, I'm going to go to disk management and we need to create a partition now you need to make sure that the partition is big enough for all your images okay now remember uh, Clonezilla does compress the images so you don't have to make it super large but as long as it's big enough to contain all your images that you create it's going to right click on this and uh, go to shrink volume now as you can see there's only a hundred gig partition here because it's a, a VHD file but you ain't got to worry about that yours is going to be a lot bigger and uh, it's going to half mine straight away and that's okay for me so I'm going to say shrink and that should shrink this down. Now if you're using Windows XP you are going to need a secondary tool to do this for you because you can't do this function inside Windows XP. So let's have a look at uh, the unallocated space here now we're going to right click on this and create a new simple volume go next, next again and next again. Now you can call this whatever you like I'm going to call mine recovery, you can call yours backup or whatever you want. I'm going to go next here and finish Okay, it's now formatting that and finished that off and as you can see it's halved our drive okay and there you can see our recovery so let's close this off close it off and this one and that one and let's have a look at our actual setup here now you can see we've got our C drive here and our recovery and there's nothing in there at the moment so let's go and put some stuff inside there so the first thing I want to put in there is our Clonezilla backup okay which uh, Steve created and I'm going to open this up with 7-zip right click on that and extract files. Need to point to that location. I'm going to point to my recovery partition here. Click OK and OK again. And if we have a look now, you'll see a load of files have been dropped inside there. Okay, and there is an actual uh, menu file here and also a Clonezilla folder, which is where all your images are going to go. Okay, there's nothing in there at the moment, but we're going to create that and change it. This uh, Aurora is just the actual background image of our boot up screen which you're going to see and uh, the install grub. We're going to use that in a second. But before I do that I need to take something out of our Clonezilla um, live uh, CD here. So I'm going to right click on this and open archive and then I'm going to come down to live. This is the only part we need. Extract that and we're going to extract that straight into our recovery and clonezilla folder okay it must be inside this clonezilla folder click OK OK again it will transfer that across and let's have a look inside here now you'll see a live folder that's the one it's put inside there okay that's important and you can see he's put a little file here to let you know to put it in this location now that's all done we can now install our grub for DOS now if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 you're going to need to run this as administrator. If you're running XP you can just double click on it 
but we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator now if you're running XP you can just double click on it Vista you need to run this as administrator now what we need to do here now is say wifey yes and that is done now what I'm going to do now because I know this is an issue when you reboot this what's going to happen is you're not going to get the actual splash screen so what I'm going to do here is copy our menu to our root directory to stop this happening now if you want to test this first before you do this then you can do so but if you don't and you get the uh, a little box popping up command prompt box and you don't see the uh, splash screen then you're going to need to do this okay but I'm going to do this right now because I know it does happen in, Win in Windows 7 okay so let's now reboot our system and see what it looks like okay so here we've got our match actual menu system okay now if you're not seeing this then you've not uh, done something right but you can see boot to windows this is going to be our new boot up menu and you can see here we can go straight into windows here or we can restore uh, an image if we've made an image back up yet we haven't done that yet and also create an image back up this is if you want to create an image back up uh, f4 to auto restore windows now if you tap on f4 it's going to restore windows and if also you've got auto backup windows and also the clones in a manual okay so what we're going to do here is uh, create a backup first I'm going to let this load in and back up it will take a bit of time now depending on the size of your uh, system and how many programs and all that sort of stuff it's going to take a bit of a time okay but I'm running a virtual box here so it shouldn't take too long now you can see this is the image it wants to create and the, and the time so I'm going to click OK here time and date now you can see there what it's doing remaining time completed 100% and this will happen every stage okay you can see there elapsed time remaining time completed and you can see it's only 4% and the um, how many gigabytes uh, per minute it's taken across so as you can see that's going to take a fair bit of time so I'll pause the video at this stage okay so that's nearly complete now as you can see 94% and once that's completed it will close everything off it's going to reboot okay so that's now done so now we can boot to our Windows operating system it will do that automatically in so many seconds as you can see 10 seconds so I'm just going to push enter here and boot up Okay, so now we're at the desktop and we've now got a backup of our whole system and if we have a look here you can see it's now filled up a bit and if I go into clonezilla and then images you will see a folder in here called image and this is now created an image okay of our machine now also this will compress um, clonezilla can compress this a little bit um, but this is where all your images will be okay now if you want to hide these all you need to do is click on the hide um, bat file here and it will hide this area and just leave a little folder in here or a little bat file in here you don't want to delete that okay so that will be now hidden and uh, you can also unhide it by clicking on this and it will bring it all back okay and basically that's it it's now created a backup of our system so if we had a, a virus on here or it crashed or whatever it may be and you want to revert back to when you made the last backup of your system then you can do that so what I'm going to do here is delete these two files on the desktop and if I delete these and empty them out and I'll show the process I'm going to reboot now and restore this image back and you should see these recover back up okay from the image that we just recovered from so let me just make sure that this is hidden okay it's on hidden that's good so let's uh, restart the system 
Okay, so now what I want to do is come down. Now you could tap F4 to restore windows, auto restore windows. Uh, but what I'm going to do is click on this one and you can click on F6 to restore backup image, which we've just created. So I'm just going to click on enter here. And this will start to restore that image, what it's just created. Okay, now it will take a bit of time. And depending on the size of your image and, the, and how uh, many programs and stuff that you've got on there will determine how long it will take. So now it wants to restore from this only one image that we've got here. I'm going to click OK. And the process will start. Now this will take a bit of time, so I'll probably pause the video at this stage. OK, that's nearly now complete. It doesn't take too long at all. successfully restored the image as you can see and this will reboot in five seconds and then boot to the desktop and there we are all we need to do now is either wait eight seconds or we can push the enter button to go straight into Windows And there we have our system restored and you can see the two files are now come back so if we restored it at this stage which we have done we've now recovered these two files that we may have lost by deleting them by accident so i think that covers everything that's how you basically recover a system for free using clonezilla and also clonezilla backup done by steve and uh ndog37 and it's an awesome way of recovering a system if you've had system issues or you've had also malware on a system or something like that and you've got a good known image and you can recover it so simply like that okay so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos and also check out steve's uh, site and also check out uh, uh, reboot.pro as well forums it's a great place to find good uh, tutorials and also great help and advice okay if you're doing this sort of stuff so thanks again guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.